Hi everybody, it's Nikki here. I'm going to say Chen and Nikki Imida. Welcome back to How You Have an Ant K-pop News Flash. First bit of news, Jung Jun Young was arrested and the arrest warrant was for the sharing of hidden camera footage. Don't worry, I'm not going to go crazy into it today. There will be a big update video coming out on Thursday. So stay tuned for that and we entail everything that's been going on so far in the whole Jung Jun Young Sangri issue. Second bit of news, Shiny's Minho was accepted into the Marines and his enlistment date is for April 15th. So you can be really, really proud of him for being able to be accepted by the Marines because that means he did really, really well in all his testing. And a second part of Minho's news is his first solo single is coming out on March 28th and it's called I'm Home. Babs Young Jay has gone independent and created his own label and his first solo album will be released in April. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. Let's get to music video wars. In third place, we have NCT 127 with Wakey Wakey. Wakey Wakey was kind of a surprise, I think, for all of us and citizens. It kind of just appeared, DMV appeared just overnight, but it was a very, very pleasant surprise. And I really love the song and I love the video. I think we can kind of start seeing the growth of the group and being a bit more ma on the mature and sexy side. And it's absolutely amazing. You should really check out Wakey Wakey if you haven't heard of it yet. In second place, we have Momoland with I'm So Hot. Let's be honest here. Is Momoland able to create a song that isn't catchy? I don't think so because the beat in I'm So Hot and again the chorus are super super catchy and super fun. I love the video itself. I love the outfits they wear, their hairstyles. As a whole I really enjoy the song. And in first place we have the just debut group Everglow with Bonbon Chocolat. Everything, everything. You gotta want my everything. This group literally just debuted this week and the views are so so high on their music video and that's why they are in first place this week but yes the views definitely show that it is an amazing song and the song itself shows that it is amazing. I think it's beautifully done. The music video is stunning. The song is catchy, like the first beat already catches you and just pulls you in to listen more. It's so, so good. If you have not heard of Everglow yet and didn't know that they just debuted, please go check them out and support them. Kang Daniel has filed an injunction against LM Entertainment for the suspension of his contract. As you guys know, he had some issues with contract changes and they didn't want to do it in his timely manner and it seems like of course they haven't done it if he's filed an injunction. So I keep you guys updated what's going on with that as well. Exos Chen will be having his first solo album come out on April 1st and it is called April and the Flower. I'm really really excited to see Chen's solo and yes it's kind of necessary in a way to start branching out solo with the first members of EXO to be going into the military this year. So it's kind of a preparation to still be out there and doing projects while the others serve their military time. YG Entertainment is to be investigated by the National Tax Service for tax evasion. Remember, I kind of talked about 
this issue in the last couple of weeks and they're going full on with an investigation. Again, something I will be keeping you guys updated on as I get more news about it. As one has released the first look at their light stick and it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it up here. It's really, really cute and it kind of reminds me of confetti in a way, you know, the different colors of confetti and speckles and it's absolutely cute. Onus has announced their fandom name and it is Two Moon. Onus represents Earth and their fans represent the moon. So Earth and Moon as the moon orbits around the Earth and I think it's a really cute analogy and just shows again how important fans are to an idol group. But it wasn't the only artist this week to announce a fandom name. It was also Sunmi who announced her fandom name to be Mia Ne, meaning Sunmi's home. And I really, really love it. Again, a name that shows just how important fans are to idols and how important the support is. But not only was her fandom name announced, she also announced her official fandom colors, which are red, purple, and blue. So it was, again, an exciting week with fandom names and fandom colors, which had me all excited about it. I hope you guys had an amazing week. I hope you have, as always, an even better kind of one coming up. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and my website, howyouhaven.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. I love you guys. Sarangi. Bye. Annyeong.